Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is regarded by many as not only one of the greatest animated films of all time, but one of the greatest superhero films of all time, which is surprising since it's been less than a month since it came out. So naturally, the level of hype for the film sequel, Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse, is at an all-time high. But recently, I've caught wind of a fake <laughs> announcement letter going around that claims that Beyond the Spider-Verse has been delayed <laughs> to July of 2026, which I'm going to tell you right up front is categorically untrue. And in this video, <laughs> we're going to break down why this letter is complete and utter bullshit. What's up, Faith family? Jarvis Guy and the Void Jarvis YT here. And today, we're going to be talking about a fake announcement that was concocted by, by God knows who regarding Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. Now, I'm making this video uh, to tell everybody, do not fall for this. Like, I, I couldn't even make it like one sentence without finding like spelling errors and, and a whole bunch of other things so yet you know we're just gonna read it in this video because this is like comically bad this is like so bad that I can't believe it's real and by the way credit to uh, I don't I guess that's like a spider web at 60404 on Twitter much appreciated bruv I don't know if you're the guy that made this but I, I still appreciate it because this, this gave me a bit of a laugh so either way either way reading the message it says um, dear Spidey fans, uh, we initially announced Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse release would be March 29th, 2024, but the team has decided to move the louch date to July 10th, 2026 due to poor management and issues inside the studio. Okay, okay first of all, first of all. They, <laughs> Sony would never put like poor management and issues inside the studio in like a, a public statement like this. Like when they got hacked back in 2014, they didn't even say that was because of like poor management or shitty cybersecurity. They just blamed it on like Korean terrorists and not the poor management and literal racists they were running the studio. So they would never say something like this. Okay, just just wanted to get that clear. All right, next sentence. I can already see a couple errors. Um, our extremely talented team <laughs> is sorry. To to make fans wait three more years to see the conclusion of Miles's story, but we need more time in order to deliver the best finale possible that the silly little guy deserves. <laughs> I, th I feel like I shouldn't even have to point out what's wrong with that. It's the grammar in the first part of this like long ass run on sins is honestly crazy <laughs> enough, but you know, not only do we have like the the lack of a proper apostrophe usage here, <laughs> we also have just them calling him that silly little fucking guy. <laughs> Okay, alright, okay, moving on, moving on. Although the wait will be pretty long, <laughs> they would never say this, we promise we won't disappoint you, horrible grammar. In the meantime, you can pre-order Marvel's Spider-Man 2 only on the PlayStation 5, and you can also buy Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse collection on Blu-ray, which includes the short Spider Within, where you can see Miles having a realistic depiction of a panic attack. <laughs> oh my god, that last one has a lot of issues with it. It, <laughs> it honestly does. Like, okay, and, and I and I get that this is obviously fake. I was able to tell from, like, the first sentence. But just, just breaking this down, just so, you know, if you guys ever see anything like this, you aren't, like, <laughs> tricked by it. And I really hope you aren't, because if you're actually stupid enough to get tricked by this, then there's no way that you're over, like, the age of 15. Um, But, yeah, it says, like, we promise we won't disappoint you. If I was like a fourth grade English teacher, I'd slap that, I'd slap whoever wrote this in the face, cause that's that's horrible. And then it and then like advertise Marvel Spider Man two on the PlayStation. Like I get that like PlayStation is owned by Sony, but I have literally never once seen a public announcement from them where they were just like shilling their own products. That'd be like if if like during the Sony hack they just randomly said, oh hey guys you can buy um you can buy Detroit become human on playstation 4 now it's like what the hell are you talking about why are you showing this why did you put this in here that's so weird they don't do that you know I, it makes sense for them to do that but that's just not something they do it says there's like a, a blu-ray collection of into the spider-verse and across the spider-verse that's that's so stupid i don't even want to go into it you know not to mention the fact that like 
<laughs> I looked at the word loud state again. Uh, not to mention the fact that like uh, the and and across and into the spider verse. That's not proper. You aren't supposed to capitalize that. That's not proper grammar. But either way, yeah, the fact that there's a Blu-ray collection. That's so stupid. Why would there be a Blu-ray collection of like two films? That you know when it's supposed to be a full trilogy. I, well, I guess you know what if they actually <laughs> delayed Beyond the Spider Verse to 2026, which they didn't. <laughs> um, I, I guess maybe they would want to cash in on the Blu-ray um, packaging as soon as possible. And then the Spider Within short, there's no, there's not even like any plan to distribute this. So this is just complete bullshit right here. That's that's not even a smoking gun in this. I think like <laughs> the grammar errors uh, should be like a sign enough that this is fake, but. If, if if that wasn't a smoking gun, then then get then this stupid shit right here is a smoking gun. But yeah, man, I just wanted to go over this because this was like this is ridiculous. This is like a roller coaster ride of like misinformation. And honestly, man, I I don't want you guys to to fall for stuff like this. So I just wanted to break this down because Spider Man Beyond the Spider Verse is not delayed as of right now. And I, I think this image is going to start making it around. So, you know what? 60404, if you made this, then <laughs> Godspeed, my man, because this is, this is some God tier bait. This is, this is absolutely excellent, like, engagement farming. And you can already see Homeboy is picking up a little bit of traction. So, oh, my God. Okay, anyway, that'll be it for this video. Um, yet another editorial. I, I just love doing these things, man. It's just, it's, it's honestly so much fun. I, I'm having a lot of fun doing these, man. But either way, I've been your Travis Gotten. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more Diecast content, and I will see you guys in the next one.